Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brown. This is another epic, amazing, awesome episode of Justin Cameron's Epic Awesome Amazing Reviews. On this episode, we have the uh, fountain pen with gift case here. It is a KZL913 gold barrel, best design for signature calligraphy, 100% quality, warranty, gold. $17 is what this costs from Kalai. Okay. And so we're going to take some pictures and open this up today. Um, I got one of these already, and I had some trouble with it, so they sent me another one. And uh, we're going to see if we can make this work. I'm hoping that I'll figure this out. So uh, we got the ink here. I went and bought the ink separately on Amazon. And there's some blue ink uh, that's uh, by Thornton Ink, I believe. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to be opening that up and trying it out as well. And we'll see how it works with the pen here. Uh, okay. If you can't get the box open by normal means, that's what we have a knife for. So, there we go. Now, this does come in a gift case, gift box here. And we're going to want to get some pictures of it, obviously. So, let's put this up over here and uh, we'll get some nice pictures here. Okay, we'll get this opened up like this. And uh, we'll show what's inside here. Uh, there's an extra cartridge that comes in the little case for the pen here. So we'll uh, get that going here. And uh, I'm really hoping that this works. I really am. Okay. So, because uh, like I said, I demonstrated one of these before and I had some problems. So I'm just hoping that uh, this time there's no problems. That's what the person said this sent Man, they sent me that they always say, we hope there's no problems, right? Everybody sends me stuff. People don't like problems. I don't like problems. Nobody likes problems, right? So, here we go. Okay, so we got the, the juice here that goes in the pen. The uh, the thing. And I'm going to try to write with it. And then, uh, if it... I'll just write on the box here. How's that? And uh, let's see... Yeah, okay, like this. So, uh, so yeah. So, what we'll do is uh, open this up here. And uh, we'll unscrew the end. Okay, and uh, now what we're going to do is, I don't want to drip this on anything, so I better put my clipboard underneath what I'm doing, just to be safe, because otherwise I might drip this on my my tablecloth here. So uh, what we'll do is we'll get this little insert here, and uh, we'll just suck this up. Now what you got to do with this is, first you got to screw it counterclockwise and you put it down in the ink then you screw it clockwise and it fills the little uh, thing here okay then what you do is you take this and you put it on the back where it came from just put it back on there again okay and we're gonna put the pen back together and we hope I really hope that it works this time because last time I got one of these they did not work properly so um, most people get these no problems at all. I was the first one, I guess, that had an issue with these pens. Um, so yeah, I filled the little cartridge in the pen here, and so it should just start writing on its own. That's what they tell me. If not, what I can do is the cartridge. Um, it has a um, it has that screw. So what I can do is I can actually give it a little bit of pressure. So all right. So I phoned my friend and I figured out what I was doing wrong with the pen. And these are not, the, the people that sold this didn't tell me to do this. Nobody told me how to get the thing to work, but I, I she, she showed me. Okay, the friend I had come over, she showed me how to do it. So, um, here's what you do, all right? So I already filled the, uh, the thing on the inside of the pen. I think I showed you that. If I didn't, I can show you again, but uh, basically you have to fill the, uh, cartridge inside the pen okay and once you do that then what you got to do is you got to dip the pen in the ink completely like up to the top to get it to start okay um, or you can use water I've been told but um, anyway so now that we've done that now we'll write and write and write and write until it dries up or something so anyway you have to make sure both um, sides of the pen are touching there's two sides to the to the tip you have to make sure both of them are touching or the ink will quit flowing so uh, we'll write something here I 
Yep, that's where you got to make sure both sides are touching. I... So you got to be like this. And now, it's not working. So what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to open this up. And you're supposed to submerge the tip of the pen in here to get it started, okay? And once you've done that, then it's supposed to work. So, um... Okay, so I'm writing, I love to review uh, products. You gotta make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You gotta ring that bell. And give to our Patreon. Okay, and also you need to make sure you check out www.christiancourts.com. So with this pen, you do have to bring the ink with you or some water or something to get it started to get the ink flowing. But once it starts flowing, it'll keep flowing until you finish writing. And uh, it just flows. I'm going to go across the page, it just flows and flows and flows, see? Nice even lines. Normally by now it would have dried up or something, but because of the cartridge that's in it and that I dipped it, it's just going to keep writing and writing until I'm done writing and then it might drive get stuck again, you got to dip it again. But anyways, that's the way it works, so let's go ahead and cross that off our list. Once again, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you just bless you, please click the links in the description of the video. Get to our Patreon and check out www.christiancourts.com. Alright.